Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today we're talking about RNA, specifically mRNA, rRNA, and tRNA. Let's start with mRNA, or messenger RNA. So named because it acts as the messenger between DNA and protein production. And if you want to know the difference between RNA and DNA, I have a great video for that linked here and in the description. When you discuss RNA in school, you're usually learning about mRNA. During transcription, DNA is transcribed into mRNA. This mRNA is then translated into protein. It serves as the genetic template of a protein since the DNA can't leave the nucleus. Next we have tRNA, or transfer RNA. This is my personal favorite, and honestly one of the most fascinating molecules in genetics. RNA is generally single-stranded, but tRNA actually folds back onto itself to form a distinct T-like shape. Without going into uh, too deep, transfer RNA is responsible for bringing amino acids together during translation to form the growing peptide chain that will become a protein. And last but not least, we have rRNA, or ribosomal RNA. This RNA is the main component of ribosomes, which I've discussed in a previous video. rRNA combines with special proteins to form ribosomes, which then read mRNA to form proteins. There's a lot in that sentence, so feel free to jump back and listen again if you need to. But essentially, ribosomes contain rRNA and help build proteins. To bring it all together, sections of DNA are transcribed into mRNA, which is brought from the nucleus to the ribosome, composed of rRNA and protein. The mRNA is then read by the ribosome, which brings the tRNA in with the appropriate amino acids to build whatever protein the mRNA is a template for. Now watch these related videos and hit that like button. And let's see how quickly we can get 100 likes on this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.